The most dangerous pandemic's propaganda from these clowns. Only mass is gonna save us is duct tape on their mouths. Don't speak. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Curtis with 2A Customs. I just wanted to give you guys a little peek at my air system setup. Um, if there's any brands or anything like that shown in these videos, I'm not associated with anyone. I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm 100% independent. All right, so let's get on with it. I use a 60 gallon air compressor. Uh, it works really well for everything that I need. I usually only have one weapon going at a time. I only have one blast cabinet. So 60 gallons at 14 CFM. When you're looking at an air compressor, really what you need to look at is your cubic feet per minute that it puts out. Anything over 10 is pretty good for sandblasting. I recommend closer to 15 if you're gonna be sandblasting anything large. So I have my air coming out and then it goes into a 50 foot long air hose, which then comes over to my air dry system this is the homemade air drying system um, I'll explain the entire thing that i have set up for my air dry system and, and filtering system but i've never had any water oil or particles make it to the nozzle either in my blast cabinet or my spray guns so i have it coming in here to these pieces of copper that i welded so this is a homemade drying system right here. All this copper. It comes up, goes back down into a ball valve that I close off when I want air pressure. And so I have one, two, three, four, five, six different ball valves, as you can see down there. And then the air comes out here, this last one. And what the idea of the copper is, as the air moves through, the copper helps to cool the air to room temperature because compressed air comes out hot. And so it gives the moisture in the air the opportunity to condense inside these copper pipes and drip down to where all these ball valves are. And it needs to be set up exactly like this when it comes in you need to have a place for the water that's going into the copper to drain and anything that condenses in the, the first row of copper and then it comes down and goes over and so everywhere you have two meetings at the bottom or just one on your last run you need to have a ball valve down there so that does a pretty darn good job of drying the air out however you still get some i live in indiana it gets very humid so up here i have a water trap and particulate trap along with a pressure gauge and a pressure regulating valve which then goes to a desiccant air dryer uh, this one works really really well um, whenever there's pressure in here, you open the bottom valve a little bit and it'll spit out any of the water that it has collected on the inside. There's also a pressure regulating valve and indicator here. And this comes down to my manifold. So from my three-way manifold, I have one that goes directly to my blast cabinet. I have one that goes directly to my paint shaker, it's a pneumatic paint shaker with a little self-oiling deal here, which is a lifesaver. I would never remember to oil it nearly as frequently as I need to. And then this air hose here comes into the side of my hose reel, which gives me a working end out here. This is what I utilize for things like high pressure air hose to blow off after I sandblast and for my sandblasting cabinet i have the the pressured air running into a foot switch and then from the foot switch into my sandblasting cabinet and i did a whole video on the modifications i've made on this that's just a harbor freight deal and it works fantastically hardly leaks any kind of 
blast media or dust out of it. I've got it sealed up really nice. Works fantastic. And it costs a fraction of what the expensive ones cost. And so with my hose reel, I utilize typically my um, HVLP spray guns. And as another part of my air filtration on each one of these, I have a water and particulate filter that you can empty. They, they each have little uh, buttons on here that you can release any water or particulates that get caught inside. But with the system that I just described to you set up here, I've never had any water in either one of these. And before I actually don't run my hose reel directly to these I built my own little spray booth over here this is my little spray booth and right here I have an air inlet it goes through the wall here let me flip the lights on very bright in here I'm gonna get some lines. So that air from the outside comes in right here. And then it goes through this coiled air hose, which I keep off the ground. Because it, any of you that use air hoses, hoses know that as they drag along the ground, they get incredibly dirty. Even though I keep the ground in here as clean as possible, it doesn't look clean because I built this long after this garage was built. Um, but it's pretty clean, but I keep this off the ground and this is where I plug in my HVLP spray guns.